Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, we made some pretty sweet upgrades. You can see in the chat box right there, I just got the occult necklace. Okay, can you please move? We got the occult necklace, the anguish, and you can see I'm wearing the prims that we got last video as well. I left Zora a while ago because I wanted to get the occult necklace before going back because I knew that would just be a massive upgrade and I would eventually get it anyway. So I figured may as well have it before Zora, and now we have it, plus the anguish. And there's one other upgrade I want to make before going back. It's a very minor upgrade that really doesn't matter, but I want to get infinity boots because I would just wear mystic boots otherwise. And while infinity boots aren't that much of an upgrade, eternals would eventually be best in slot, even though again, they're really not that good. But if I'm going to be getting them eventually anyways, I may as well do it now before I go to Zora. I've never gone for just infinity boots before, like on my UYM, I've gone for full infinity all at once, but never just the boots alone. I'll put up on screen the required points, but I believe it should take about two hours to do. I guess I probably should have started off with food first because I'll be doing the graveyard room, but I have bones to peaches now. I only don't like the graveyard room when you have bones to bananas, but with bones to peaches because they heal 8 instead of 2, it's so much nicer this way. Okay, well, there's the graveyard room done. Took about 20 minutes. Telekinetic room done. Took about 50 minutes. Alchemy room is done. It's about 30 minutes. Dude, with the lava staff and level 6 enchant, this is so easy because it just goes from like top to bottom and then the icon for the enchant spells all the way at the bottom, so this makes it so chill and so easy and so fast. You could AFK as well if you want, but it's just slower that way. We only need 1200 points here, and these are going up very, very fast. And there's the 1200 enchantment points. We can go buy the infinity boots. I think this room took like less than 10 minutes even. I was kind of chilling too, which means in total this was under two hours. It was like hour and 50 minutes, maybe like an hour 45 or something. So let's go over to the rewards guardian. We'll trade him for Infinity Boots, yes. New collection log slot as well. Um, and then I'll just go grab the Mystic Boots out the bank and then we could compare the stats of both of them. Okay, here we go. Mystic Boots have plus three magic accuracy and plus three defense. And then Infinity are plus five and plus five. So not a huge upgrade, but I mean, Eternals will eventually be best in slot, hopefully if I ever get the crystal. So may as well just make the upgrade now, even though it's really not gonna make a difference. Plus they look really cool. It's time for a farm run because I really gotta stay on top of them since we're trying to get Spook's Herblore up to 83 so she can make the anti-venom so I could upgrade the pool and the POH. Every 80 minutes on the dot, I need to do them. Although I probably won't be that religious with them, but I'll try. Yeah, and if you didn't notice it, by the way, that's the magic XP that you would gain from getting the infinity boots or about that like just under 90k i just spent a little bit of time fishing karambons because i don't think we have that many cooked ones so later today when i'm eating dinner i'll probably cook some of uh, the ones that i've ended up fishing karambons are like the main food that i have slash use so i have like almost 3k to cook for later but now let's gear up for zora all right the new setup for zora we have the occult necklace the anguish i have the altar and the poh so i could just easily switch to lunars i have the slayer helm on not because i'm on slayer task or anything, but just because it has decent stats. I would very, very much like to get the Serp Helm because then I won't have to be on the Lunar Spellbook and I won't have to make house tabs. I can just teleport home and I would take a lot less damage during the kills because the Venom damage adds up a lot. And I wouldn't have to worry about the Rings of Dueling either, which is another thing because um, normally right now I just use them to get the Ferox after each kill then I teleport home to get back to the Fairy Ring. But if we get the Serp Helm, I'd be on the regular Spellbook. I would just teleport home and then from there, I would like to have the pool upgrade in the POH to restore my health so that way I don't have to make an extra trip to Ferox. So if we get Serp Helm, I might take a break from Zora to do other stuff while I do farm runs. Spook's been doing farm runs as well. Um, to get her to 83 herb lore and then build the pool in the POH. Um, but the main goal overall is just to get as many scales as possible so I can camp shamans and go for the dragon warhammer because like I've been saying that is just the biggest bottleneck for so much content. And here's the current collection log. In 300 KC I got three onyxes which has actually been really useful for like making zenites and uh, the fury and stuff and then just the one tans fang so either or for each of these would be nice. 300 KC though Let's begin. Oh, look at that hit 30. Oh my God, so sick. And just kidding, I forgot to turn on my Ring of Suffering apparently. I thought I turned it on. Oh, I just say, oh, cause I had it on from Thermi before. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I was enabling it when I switched it, but I was, I was disabling it. All right, first kill back after the Zora hiatus and 
There we go, 301 KC, and the time was 301, no freaking way, dude. Apparently uh, my PB is 221, and there's a pretty good chance we'll break that PB soon with all the magic upgrades we've made recently, and all the magic levels I've gained, especially considering magic is the bulk of the DPS I do with Zora. My prayer is also higher now too than the last time I went to Zora, and I think even the last time I never even used the prayer pod, it's just there as emergency. Maybe I took like one dose at the most the whole time. I can also now cast Vengeance, so I'm gonna bring uh, Death Runes and Earth runes um, because I didn't have 94 magic before but now I do. There were quite a lot of kills where I used up all my food and got the kill like exactly as I ran out of food so I don't know if it'd be worth it to bring this but then again this means more DPS so maybe it would be worth it. If you want to know how the Venge works, when Zora's in the blue phase it doesn't always use magic. There's a chance for it to do a range hit so once I see the range hit um, in the air right there. The hits from Zora don't actually register until they like actually reach you so you can time Avenge perfectly so you don't have to waste extra Venges if Zora doesn't range on the blue phase. Although I usually just pre-Venge on the blue phase if I know there aren't going to be any snakelings to break the Venge just so that way you don't have to worry about timing it. New PB already, three kills in, 202. I can just feel myself doing so much more damage plus with the Venge on top of it as well. Before I get too deep into the Zora grinding I should probably show you how many scales we currently have so I'll just fill up the blowpipe with these uh, so we have about 11k scales left over even if I don't get a syrup helm I don't know how long I'll stay here for just till I get bored really I guess oh I was gonna say this kill seemed really fast and it seemed like a pv but apparently I already broke the pv at some point and got a uh, 155 oh there it is uh, 320 I beat the two minute mark. Well it's time for farm runs and then a bit of cooking to make some more Karam ones and these U logs just reminded me about the birdhouse runs um because we were all out of U logs so I had to start using the maple logs from kingdom for birdhouse runs but now I have the U logs again for the birdhouses. Wow there's 83 farming that means I could plant my very own spirit tree without having to eat up high first. Change the plan so I started fishing Karam ones and then gave the raw Karam ones I had from before to Spook because she wants to work towards the RD elite diary and for that you need a really high cooking level so she's doing some cooking and because I have the fairy ring and the POH it makes more sense for me to do the fishing so 79 fishing right there. Let's check the group storage hopefully there should magically be some cooked crumb ones in here yes. This is great I love I love group iron man I don't have to do as much skilling I can just get straight back into the PVM. Ah yes, an onyx. Onyxes are good though because each one that we get saves like 3 mil GP because we're eventually going to need a bunch of zenites and we still need another fury for spook and maybe regen braces eventually and rings of stone and that's just me coping with the fact that we didn't get one of the drops they really want to get but it's still nice to get though. I don't know why, but I feel like every account I play, I always get a bunch of onyxes from Zora. Four onyxes so far. Hey, look at that PV, 153. When I first went to Zora, the trident charges that I used per kill was 45. And I was about to charge the trident, so I just realized I should go do the math right now. And now I'm only using 32 charges per Zora, which means a full trident can get me about 78 kills versus previously it was about 55 kills. Stop making me use so much food, Zora. What's that? Snake Reap? Oh, isn't that like killing Zora with Avenge? See, if you do a boss long enough, eventually you'll just like passively get tasks done on accident. I've been doing the math, and it looks like with the herbs that we both have banked, we can get spooked pretty close to 83 herb lore. I don't know if it's going to be exactly there, but if we both check Kingdom and doing the farm runs while she's still training herb lore, we should be able to get her there. Here's all the grimy herbs I have for her. I haven't been cleaning them as I've been doing the farm runs because I figured this XP would add up over time. I know, like, even the Guams and Marantils. We're pretty desperate, okay? Um, but like, if you clean all these, it should add up to quite a decent chunk of XP. So I'm gonna hand these off to her to clean. And that's 400 Zork KC with a PB that I beat apparently by one tick because it was 153 before as well. New PB again, 150. Whoa, look at that, 90 range at Zora. What a cool place to get it. Oh, this is 100% gotta be a PB. 148. Oh my god, what is that, bro? <laughs> Yikes. This is 100 Zora KC done for today if you look at the bossing info plugin over here. And you can see in the inventory I'm actually pretty much out of astral runes. I have 200 left which is like nothing so 
I have to go buy some more. I started with one mil in my inventory, so I spent about 550k to buy just over 6k astral runes, especially now that I'm using Vengeance. I'm not in the spellbook, but um, with using Cure Me and especially Vengeance now, I'm going through a lot of astral runes. And good timing, uh, Spook just told me she finished cleaning all the herbs, so let's take a look at the group storage and... There they are. This is more than what I put in because she also gave me all of her clean herbs that she's been getting from doing all the farm runs. Uh, she doesn't have the desert hard diary done, but I do, so I'll be able to make all these into unfinished potions. Let's see the damages. We got 5 mil in the inventory, and now I have 3.2 mil. But we have all these unfinished potions. Yeah, it looks like that was about 9k, 8.9k uh, potions that were made. Spook's about to start training herblers, so I'm going to give her some secondaries. I have all these wines of Zamrak, which came from probably a combination of Serb and Necreals. And then she's missing like 800 Limperts as well. Actually, I'm going to give her 799, because I'll have a nice even 1,000 that way. I'll give for all the red spires eggs too, minus like maybe 10 or something just to do tower of life later. And then I'll give her like 300 jades as well that she can cut and make into amulets of chemistry, um, which will be really nice for the prayer pots and the super store. So all this is going into the group storage. And then she cooked me some karambons. We got 900 for Zora because I was starting to run a bit low again. Whoa, shield left half. A good elk. You may have noticed I got rid of the house tabs and the Draymond staff in my inventory and started using the Zalandra teleports instead, and that's because I just am really desperate for a drop and I want to see something as soon as possible. I mean, not that I'm even dry anyways, but I just really want to get a drop. And the cool thing about these Zora teleports is that if you're able to do two kill trips, you can actually upkeep them because of the drop rate and you get four of them at a time. Although unfortunately, unless I get a Serp Helm, it's not really practical for me to be doing two kill trips at Zora, so I've only been doing one kill trips. But at this point, I do have a pretty hefty supply of these teleports. This is going to be 500 KC at the Prophet Snake. Oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I just got 99 hit points. I, like, I knew that was coming for a while, but I, I didn't realize that it was going to happen <laughs> right now. Okay, I guess after this kill, we'll go get the cape. So, yeah, third 99. Can I buy the skill cape of hit points for 99,000 GP? And you can't do the emote over here. If you try to do it, you'll get like that message. You have to go out here to do it. Um, and then the special perk of the hit points cape is that it gives you double hit points restoration uh, when you have it equipped. So that's useful for stuff like doing pyramid plunder, arty knights if you still fail them, vinter toad, and probably a variety of other activities. I'll probably go back to pyramid plunder at some point for more scepters, but until then, is going to be on the cape rack. And we are going back to Zora. Oh, elite clue. Okay, we got the casket. Amazing. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Grass. Okay, well this was 100 Zora KC for today, and I just wanted to show the kills per hour. When I was using the Fairy Ring, I was getting like just over 12 kills per hour, but using the Teleports, it's like just over 16 per hour. Oh yeah, and if you want to see the actual average kill time, because I just realized I was showing this, you have to go to Actual because this includes the idle time, I believe, so... Uh, my average kill speed has been about two and a half minutes or so. I want to say it was like 315 or 330 when I first went to Zora before I had all these upgrades, so quite a big improvement. Came over here to chop some teaks tonight, and there is level 74 woodcutting. Ooh, she's the 80 herb lore, getting close. This is 600 KC at Zora. It has been a while since the last unique. Maybe today will be a day. Spook just got 81 herb lures, so you know what that means. It's time for brews and also time to spend some money making these unfinished potions here. Not here, over here. The unfinished potions cost 200 each, so that's about 150k GP. And you could use this guy to crush the nests, but they're cheaper. They're only 50 GP each, and this will cost us 125k. And now that she has 81 herb lure, that essentially means we have unlimited brews on our accounts. We both just have so many toad flag seeds, and I still have a bunch of nests left over. Oh, this reminds me too, actually. I'm running out of rings of dueling. Um, I only have a few left, and here's the rings that I have, so let's go open up some of those nests. There's all the ring nests opened up. Got a lot of sapphire rings to make into recoils later on, and then 62 emerald rings for rings of dueling, so I'm gonna go enchant those, and we'll get that to Zora. It's kind of annoying, because if I got the Serp Helm from Zora, I could be on the regular spellbook, and then I wouldn't even have to worry about the rings of dueling, but you can't always get what you want. <gasps> no! <laughs> No. I mean, it saves money, but like, 
it's rough because <laughs> the last drop was 348 KC and now it's 653. So it's been over 300 kills without a drop. And we got an Onyx. And we'll toss that into the collection. Well, I don't have any Sora scales. So I need some. Oh, I'm kind of low on them actually. I don't okay. know if I can help you out with that. Damn, because I can't make your pool. Well, you don't have the construction level too anyways, so. 400 Zora scales, so that way we'll each have the 10 anti-venoms. Oh, so exciting. Oh, Elite Clue. Yes, the casket. I had to bank all my gear for this trash. I, I know already it's going to be trash. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Wow, incredible. Oops. Sorry. Oh no. Why would you do that? Accident. I just accidentally bashed his head in with my staff. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay, then you'll get the drop. One. Before 750 KC. Which? All. You'll what? All. You'll what? A-L-L. -L. You'll A-L-L? -L? What does that mean? <laughs> Oh! Yo, what? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> 69 smithing. Oh, grats. And 1750 total. Yeah. Huge. Like how I'm just- I'm narrating your video. <gasps> oh, yes! Oh, that's so good. With the friggin' elite clue as well. Oh my god, yes, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad we got that. Okay, can we just attach that right away? Or do we need like a chisel or something? Okay, let's grab a chisel. Okay, here we go. The toxic trident has been made. To charge up the regular trident, normally it would be one death rune, one cast rune, five fire runes, and then 10 GP per cast. And it's the same for the Toxic Trident, except instead of the 10 GP per cast, it's one Zora scale per cast, which I feel like is very, very low and reasonable. So we're going to go ahead and charge that up for the first time. And there we go. Fully charged Trident of the Swamp. And then as for the max hit, I'm just looking at the wiki here, and it looks like the max hit, or at least the base max hit, is just plus three for whatever your magic level is. Um, with the Trident of the Swamp versus Trident of the Seas, just a three difference, but three max hits is pretty big. Plus it scales to even more max hits over the regular Trident, depending on if you have like extra damage boosting stuff. Oh yeah, and the chance to bend them too, of course. Ah, uh, there it is. There's the video title. <laughs> okay, well, I believe this should be the casket right here. Yep, there we go. And let's see what kind of trash loot this Elite Clue has in store for us. Yeah, yeah, yep. Oh, I was gonna say we gotta buy a gold leaf uh, to upgrade the pool, but apparently it's five gold leaves each at 130k each. E e yeah, each, double each. Okay, uh, we're gonna hop world to save 3k from each one. And then of course the 10 anti- Oh, that guy looks like me. Wait, that looks like me at Zora, what the heck? I oh, whoa, okay. Anyways, uh, so we finally got Spook's Herblor up to 83 so she could boost for the anti-venoms and she said she put them in here. And not only did she put those in there, but she put a lot of other freaking potions in here. So we'll just grab out all of these. Holy crap, dude, that's so many potions. And uh, these have to be unnoted. So the pool upgrade requires 90 construction. I have 85 plus three from the saw, and then we'll have the visible plus three boost from the T. So we'll shrink that up and then we can upgrade to the ornate rejuvenation pool. And this pool, besides from everything else from the previous pools, this also restores hit points. And then of course, all the other stuff. So special attack, run, prayer, reduced stats, venom, poison, etc. This restores everything. And as you can see, the health is at 51 and now it is fully restored. This is especially useful for bosses that you do one kill trips at, which I would probably do for Sire, Thermi. Um, I wanna do that for Zora as well. Uh, I just have to get the Serp Helm first. There's like a POH method where you don't have to go back to the bank between every single Zora kill. And with this pool in the POH, I wouldn't have to go to Ferox. Um, only thing is I need the Serp Helm because right now I just eat way too much food at Zora. But with the Serp, I would go through a lot less and be able to just teleport home or start the pool and then run or I guess teleport straight back to Zora. And just getting that upgrade to the Trident is so good because there's just so many places in the game where you use a Trident. Like the first places that come to mind would be Kraken, DKs, Barrows, 
Raids 1 and 2, and a bunch more, and of course, for doing more Zora. We're going to call it a wrap here. Uh, if you want to check out my duo teammate Spoot Dogs videos, her channel is linked in every video description. Next video, it's not going to be all Zora, but I think I do want to at least try out the Trident at Zora, maybe some other places too. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.